Hello, my name is Jaleese. Welcome out, everyone, to my Assassin's Creed Origins or Assassin's Creed book review for Desert Oath. Basically, everybody, I gotta say this about this book, Desert Oath. You all know me. I'm not the greatest fan of Assassin's Creed Origins. I enjoyed the game. It was fun. But the story made no sense. To me, it was a reboot. To me, it was just rewriting the Assassin's Creed lore and all that stuff. And if you want to know the reason why I got other videos, you could check out for that for my Assassin's Creed universe. But for Assassin's Creed Desert the book, this is hands down easily. Like, it's been tied between the number one and number two for first place for me right now for the best Assassin's Creed book. Desert Oath is just that damn good. You know why? Assassin's Creed Desert Oath does so many things different than other Assassin's Creed books. It's not a, a based off the video game. It's based off the video game, but it's not a complete video game uh, storyline. It has no connection to the actual video game of the story of Origins. This is the beginning of Bayek's origin story. Him falling in love with Aya, a girl that came from Alexandria. A girl who's uh, new to Siwa. Uh, the relationship and all that. So we get to... Uh, uh, this entire story talks about the Medjai. About the people that Bayek's father has been training Bayek to become in a sense. Even though he never really trained him in a sense. He was trying to teach him. Slowly but surely. We get a nice relationship between Bayek and his father Sabu. Uh, who is Bayek's father Sabu. And he's a Medjai. And, and, he, oh, he, and he has his own masters. And he realizes that they're being hunted down. He's got a message. He leaves Siwa Sabu. And he's trying to figure out who's the person who's killing some of the Medjay off. And we get two different perspectives. We get Bayek's bad. We get Bayek's point of view uh, to, for him searching for his father to figure out why he went and all this stuff and learning about the Medjay and becoming and training with his father eventually and all that stuff. So all these storylines are great with Bayek learning about his father, about the Medjay, him ex exploring Egypt with Aya. You get more backstory to certain side characters that you never had in Origins. You know those. Uh, you know that gladiator girl that uh, by killed his best friend and uh, one of his close friends in Siwa. We get more backstory to her. We make her more fully fledged out character. This is what a book's supposed to do. They're supposed to flesh out characters more. Even though Origins was such a long game, they could have developed these side characters a lot better. But the book did a fantastic job on that. Um. We also get the killer's point of view. We get, uh, besides Bayek's point of view and Aya, we get a little bit of Aya's point of view. We get Sabu, Bayek's father's point of view. And we get, uh, especially two members of the Order of the Ancients who are trying to rise. Uh, one of them's like a political stance. He's trying to rise in Order of the Ancients and he wants to kill the Medjai and all that stuff. And so he he's going to rank up to get to a closer rank. So you know how like the... You know how I always felt like how the Order of Ancients was always a disorganized group in a video game? Yeah, they're still, they still are. This guy was trying to... These two villains of the Assassin's Creed Origins of Desert Oath are, were such a unique villains. They were fully developed. They gave them time. And it, it was just a nice development. And one of the best characters is Bion. He's the, the assassin that is killing all the Medjai. He's an Imper a former Imperial Guard. The guy is a ruthless man. But the thing is, though, he's such a great villain and a great character that I wanted to see a game with this. I wanted this, this to be the first game of Assassin's Creed Origins. I wanted this to be the first game. This story was absolutely amazing. They didn't try to connect it to the Lord of the Assassins. They didn't try to connect it to uh, anything to do with Assassin's Creed, really. This was all about Bike's story. Now, in my opinion, they could have done this story for Assassin's Creed 1, and they could have developed Assassin's Creed Origins 2, with Bayek, I explore more of Alexandria. You could explore Alexandria, the pharaohs, Egypt, and all that stuff. You could have had an entire game, like a small-time game, just developed with this stuff. You didn't have to have a big open world and all that stuff. It didn't have to be the most biggest map since Black Flag. You didn't need to do that. But they wanted to do that, and they wanted to do a reboot, in some case with Assassin's Creed Origins, try to rewrite the history of the assassins and all that stuff. And to me, it was not needed. And this story was amazing. I love Bayek's story. I would have done this at the beginning of the first game. The second trilogy, I would have had Bayek with his son. Him losing his son and all this stuff. And you could probably connect him with the Assassin Order. And the third one, you could uh, you could have him basically, like, ultimately his death and all that stuff. I enjoyed Assassin's Creed Origins Desert Oath. This was easily the best Assassin's Creed book I've read. Uh, besides Forsaken, this is the best one. Because it... It just puts so much more into character, into Bayek, to Aya, the relationship, Bayek, the relationship with his father, what it means to be a Magi and all that stuff. It was a great, great story. I was so interested from beginning to end 
about this entire story. But again, like the villains were really fleshed out, the side characters were fleshed out, and this is something that Assassin's Creed Origins, the video game, did not do well, in my opinion. And people say, oh no, it fully fleshed out. Here's the thing I'm always under display about Assassin's Creed Origin fans. You just liked it because it took a two year break. You had your. Uh, they hadn't changed the combat system. The main thing of what people like about Origins is the combat system. But to me, if you had the same combat system as you had in Unity, it would be the same damn thing. If you had the same combat system in Unity and Assassin's Creed Origins, people would be bitching about this game. There, people would be yelling about it because a lot of things don't make sense to me. And if you want to know, quick thing, what did make sense? The Order Ancients, how they killed Bayek, or how they're supposed to kill Bayek in the beginning of the game, you know how they killed Bayek's son? They hit him with a rock, knock him out, and they leave him there. He's There's like three moments in the entire video game of Origins, including the DLC, where they could kill him. The first one is where Bayek is nearly, uh, he's knocked out with his uh, son right there, they don't kill him. And they let him go on revenge, and they're like, we thought you were dead. It was the most... Was this for children? And then there was one where he's trapped in the sand, and then a horse comes to him. Then the DLC, they crucify him, but they rope crucify him, not nail him to a cross. People love this video game. People tell me the story is amazing. It's not. You want to know what's a good revenge story? Assassin's Creed 2. They did... It's not like... If I could describe it, it would be people's logic. Oh, it's a revenge story. Bikes avenging the death of his son. Like that's he was avenging the death of his family. Not the same thing. Just wait. They're revenge in the sense they're both revenge stories. But the problem is though, Ezio was never captured. They kidnapped. They got Ezio's family. They hang him from the gallows, and Ezio's in the crowd. He has to fight his way, escape the crowd. They kill Bayek's son. They knock out Bike and he's just laying on the ground and they don't kill him. I'm sorry. I I, I know I'm ranting about Assassin's Creed Origins a bit because I, I cannot understand for the life of me how people love that story and say it's the greatest Assassin's Creed story of all time. They say what you want about Unity, but at least Unity storyline for the most part, I could uh, respect more than this shit. Oh my god. Assassin's Creed Origins story is by far the weakest to me. But this book... Desert Oath made me love uh, the reason why I like Bike at the beginning, reminding me about all the great details they have, and there was so much potential in the video game Origins that Desert Oath is a must read. If there's any Assassin's Creed book that you must read, it's Desert Oath. It's just that damn good. It explores Bike's character, it explores the side characters more, it explains Bike's relationship with Aya, Sabu, um, even some great villains in freaking uh, with the Order of the Ancients with uh, Bion and so many other and one other character I forgot his name. I think his name was Reina. But overall, these entire characters for Assassin's Creed Desert Oath was to me amazing. I think this if, if this entire book definitely is a worth read. This you must read this book and to me in order to play the video game Origins and to actually look forward to it. But I know a lot of people are just casual fans. They just want action scenes. They just want good, uh, clear things. They just don't care for common sense, in my opinion. These are like the... These new people who love Assassin's Creed Origins so much, you love it because of the combat system and the uh, beautiful world. Not for its lore, not for its uh, stuff, that if it makes sense or not. I mean, there's a certain... The Assassin's Creed always had the supernatural element about realism, you know, a guy falling from a haystack and all that stuff. But... C come on! The guy's head is in the sand. They knock out the guy right next to his son. Ugh, yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. Last thing, last thing I have to say. Assassin's Creed uh, Origins Desert Oath is an A book to me. You must absolutely read this. You must absolutely read Assassin's Creed Desert Oath. It's the ultimate guide to to me. Assassin's Creed Origins. The ultimate reason why I like Bias a character again. Ultimately, why I love Bion as a villain, I think he's one of the best villains you could possibly get for the Assassin's Creed universe. If I had to do a Assassin's Creed universe, you know, Cesare, Rodrigo, hate them, and all that stuff, this guy from the Assassin's Creed book would be on there. He's just that damn good. So, yeah, everyone, let me know what y'all think, everyone. Subscribe if you like, do subscribe to the bottom, the comment down below. Let me know. Respect my parents, I respect yours. What's your personal opinion, everybody? Do you think this book is good? Do you think it's going to be great? Do you think I bitched too much about uh origins uh video game and not and not the uh, book enough let me know what you think everyone subscribe if you like 
Let me know what y'all think, everyone. Name's Jaleesa. I'm everybody. Uh, bye.